everyone, Tim Stoddard here. In this week's video, I am going to give you a personal demonstration on how to improve your keyword rankings by actually deleting content. The biggest mistake people make when they're trying to generate organic Google traffic to a website is they say to themselves, like, I'm just gonna publish content and eventually traffic will start coming. This is a huge mistake for two reasons. One, it takes a lot of time, it's a waste of money. And two, what happens is the traffic that you get isn't actually relevant. So my approach to SEO has always been much more focused, much more deliberate, much more methodical. And one of the ways that you do that is by continuously pruning your website and getting rid of pages that aren't generating any value. Okay, before we dive in, we need to go through the tools that you're going to need. As is the case with anything in SEO, you're going to have to pay for some tools. So I pay for SEMrush, Ahrefs, and on top of Ahrefs, I use the Ahrefs a Chrome extension. So if you guys are watching the video, you can see my mouse is highlighted yellow. It's this tiny little number at the top right hand uh, corner of my screen. And then I, I use uh, Yoast SEO. It's the premium version of the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin. Uh, with these three things, you can do so much. So I'm just going to show you exactly how to do this and exactly why you should do it. Okay, so right now we're logged into the back end of the Copy Blogger WordPress. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to posts. So there's two different variations of how to do this. One is deleting content that doesn't matter. And the second is just consolidating content so that you're not ranking, so that you don't have multiple pieces of content ranking for the same keyword. So when I bought Copyblogger, you gotta keep in mind, there's like thousands of pages of content on this website. Even here, if I'm in the back end and I look at posts, you can see there's 159 different index pages of content and what is it like 20 articles are in each one of these indexes so there's 3165 blog posts so what i do is i always click this button which is going to bring me to the very back it's going to bring me to the 159th page and then i'm going to look at these articles so public relations versus publicity i'm going to view this article so i'm going to right click and i'm going to click view okay so what's going on here uh, the first thing I am going to do, and this is where the tools really come in in handy. This is a, a Google function that hardly anybody uses, and it's so valuable. I'm going to do site colon, and then I'm going to put that in front of the actual URL, and I'm going to hit enter. So because of this extension that I have, this Ahrefs extension, what it does is it posts the analytics of the page underneath the actual search result. So for those listening to this, you're not going to see it. But for those of you watching the video, you can see that there's the Google result of the public relations versus publicity page. And then underneath it, you're going to see all these numbers. So what are these numbers? Well, this one is what's most important. This is how much traffic. So you can see that this particular page gets one hit a month, one organic hit a month. And it probably doesn't even get that. Um, so this tells me that this page isn't really worth anything. This isn't doing anything, it's not generating any traffic. Uh, it also tells me that this page has 12 backlinks, referring pages from three referring domains. So I don't wanna just delete this page because then I'm gonna lose all of these backlinks. I want these links pointing to a more relevant page. Well, so how do I figure that out? Right, well, this is the next version of it. So I'm gonna right click again, so I have the actual URL public relations versus publicity. I'm gonna go into SEMrush and I'm gonna search for the URL. Once I search for the URL, you know, you can see that SEMrush at least says that it gets zero organic hits. It says that it has zero backlinks. I'm not gonna trust that. I'm gonna trust what Ahrefs says instead. And these are the keywords that it's ranking for, right? So what is the difference between publicity and public relations? It's ranking number 88 for that keyword. Publicity versus public relations is ranking number 76. So even the, the main keyword of the article, like the content itself just isn't robust enough to rank for the keyword that it's ranking for. So what do I do? Well, obviously I wanna redirect this page to a higher quality page about public relations or publicity. So I'm gonna go, go to Google site colon copyblogger.com. 
So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a Google search, just a standard Google search, except I'm doing it inside the copy blogger domain. So maybe I'll do something like public relations. Okay, well, check this out. This shows that number one in the keyword public relations, like when I do a Google search under the copy blogger domain, that web page is still the highest ranked. So what does this tell me? Basically, it tells me that there's no public relations or publicity content on copy blogger. And do I need there to be? No, I really don't. So now I'm just going to delete this entire page. Okay, and this is where the SEM rush or the Yoast SEO plugin really comes in. So I'm going to click on edit post. I'm going to move to trash. And yes, I'm going to delete this page. Now this is where the premium version of Yoast SEO is so important because when you have the premium version, when you delete a page, you're going to get this pop-up right here. It says Yoast SEO premium detected that you moved the post to the trash. You can either redirect it to another URL, make it serve a 410 content deleted header. So I'm always going to want to redirect it. Ideally, I'm going to redirect it to a page which is more relevant. In this case, there aren't any pages that are more relevant because we just did that site colon copyblogger.com search functionality and we discovered that there's just no content on Copyblogger about publicity or public relations. So in this case, I'm just going to redirect it to the homepage. Bam. Now check this out. If I go back to the back end of WordPress and I go to that article, public relations versus publicity, and I view it, it's just going to bring me directly to the homepage. So I've saved the link equity in the page that I deleted and I got rid of stuff that was just generating absolutely no value at all. That's cool for pruning your website. This is the first scenario in which you would wanna delete content. The second scenario is if you have two or three or sometimes 10 different pages of content that are all kinda of ranking for the same keyword, well, you only want one page of content dedicated for a particular keyword. You wanna get rid of things that are competing with each other. So let's find an example. Okay, I found a perfect example. This is a recent article that Megan published on March 8th, 2024. And the keyword is how to write a headline that drives more clicks. So this is an example where this extra little bit that drives more clicks might make it rank for a keyword other than how to write a headline, right? Um, maybe there's an article on Copyblogger that is just for how to write a headline. And then if I write, if, if somebody were to Google how to write a headline, I would get that page. Whereas if somebody wrote an article about how to write a headline that drives more clicks, I would get this page, right? So it's very, very like specific examples that you need to be mindful of. But the way that you de detect that is by using this functionality, right? So we're going to do site colon copyblogger.com. And then I'm going to type in write headlines because this is just the base keyword, right? This isn't long tail, this is just the base keyword. Okay, so this is such a perfect example. This is such a perfect example because that article that I showed you, how to write a headline that drives more clicks, this ranks number one, right? And you can see the search traffic for this is 479. And so this is very interesting because I have a, a second variation right here, how to write magnetic headlines. This article is generating traffic. It's generating 106 clicks a month. So does that mean I want to delete this one, this magnetic headlines article and redirect it to this one? Probably, but we want to make sure. So, wow, what is this? Mag I don't even know what this is. This is crazy. This is like a landing page for an old ebook that we don't even have anymore. <laughs> Right? Like this is just such a perfect example because this is what I'm talking about. When you have a website for long enough, things just happen. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm looking to see if this magnetic headlines page was a guide that is listed under this content marketing silo and I don't see it. So I'm going to go to SEMrush and I'm going to search this particular page to see what kind of keywords this page is ranking for magnetic headlines. Um, nothing really like really nothing really i'm ranking number 20 for one headline number two for grab headlines headline title eight right which i don't even understand so ultimately this page right here magnetic headlines 
is competing unnecessarily with this page, which is how to write a headline that drives more clicks. And I know this is the case because once again, if I go back to this site functionality, I just know that Google likes this page better than this page. And I know that this page really isn't doing anything for me. So here we go. I'm gonna take this URL, how to write a headline that drives more clicks. So it's copyblogger.com slash how to write headlines that work. And I'm going to go to the back end of WordPress, how to write magnetic headlines. I'm gonna to move to trash. I'm gonna click yes. And then I'm going to redirect this to the main URL. This is a perfect, perfect example. And like, I'm really pumped that this happened this way. And so now look, if I were to go to that same magnetic headlines URL right here, and I click on it, I'm going to get redirected to the page that Google actually is ranking at the top for the keyword, write headlines. So this is beautiful. I'm not competing with myself anymore. Not to mention all of the backlinks that that particular page had, that magnetic headlines page, all the backlinks that that page had are now getting redirected to this one, which is going to make this one even stronger. Let's check out what happens if I just go to Google and I type in right headlines. Let's see where Copyblogger is. It, it, oh, look at this, number seven. See? Oh, this is so good. I love it when this shit happens. So Copyblogger is ranking number seven this particular keyword, how to write headlines that work for the keyword, write headlines. So all I did is I got rid of this magnetic headlines page. I redirected those backlinks to this page, which should make this page even stronger, which means that, you know, I can hopefully rank number one for this keyword. And if I rank number one for write headlines, I mean, that's a killer, killer keyword. I'm definitely going to make money from that keyword. If I can beat Neil Patel for this, I think that would be really, really sweet. Such a great example. And I'm so happy this worked out this way. I want to finish off by acknowledging that I realize this is boring, dry, technical work. It's not super fun and sexy. It's not social media likes and shares and views on a YouTube video. But one keyword, one piece of content. This methodology has made me more money than all of the other stuff combined more than YouTube, social media, paid ads, affiliates. It's, it's made me millions of dollars. I don't even know how else to say it, being humble. If you do this, if you follow this guideline, it will work. You just have to be patient and you have to be methodical. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments. I appreciate all of the comments and all of the questions. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys on next week's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.